According to an article on Beijing.com dated March 21st, there is an establishment called the Compass Psychological Intelligence Industry Group in Nanyang City, which operates as an internet addiction recovery school. Xu Tiojo, a former psychology teacher at the institution, has witnessed incidents of physical abuse and mistreatment of underage students during her employment. After Xu resigned, she, along with several students and parents, reported the confinement and abuse of minors at the institution. Many parents trusted this institution due to recommendations from vice principals, teachers, psychiatrists, and psychological counselors at local public schools in Nanyang. Compass was founded by Ding Haiyong in 2009 and offers services such as adolescent psychological consultation, learning treatment, behavior correction, and growth training camps. The camp is in Yunlu Mountain, Neixiang County, where students are subjected to 24-hour paramilitary management. Parents who send their children there pay a monthly tuition fee of 19,800 yuan or a half-year tuition fee of 43,000 yuan, $6,000, believing that they have found a solution to their children's internet addiction problems. Xu Tiojo revealed that Compass's counseling services cost 600 yuan per hour, while Ding Haiyong charged 800 yuan per hour for consultations. The consulting fees were also distributed among the school and consultants, with a portion retained by the company. Furthermore, if someone could guide problem students to the Compass camp, the rewards for the referral would be even greater, with a commission of 3,000 yuan, $417, being offered. Instances of physical abuse were witnessed by Xu, who observed a student named Sun Jiaming being beaten with a large stick upon his arrival at the camp. The beatings lasted for over 10 minutes, resulting in visible injuries and psychological distress for the student. These revelations are just the tip of the iceberg, as there have been numerous other cases of abuse and mistreatment in various internet addiction treatment institutions across the country. Many of these institutions restrict personal freedom, using military-style training and corporal punishment to discipline rebellious students. Yang Yongxin, the director of another internet rehabilitation center in Linyi City, Shandong Province, said that more than 6,000 children have been treated there. He said, I can continue to do this because the government here supports me in continuing to do it.